So this morning is all about sustainability, and it's the perfect coincidence that it happens to be Earth Day. And I want to start out with a story. I made a timeline here. This all started about this time last year, in 2013. I was looking at the class evals from this class. Here's a picture of some students. A year ago, I was doing group projects. We were doing one at the Mount Olive plant, which is an hour and a half away. We did another one downstairs. And the third one was at the Pepsi bottling plant, 20, 20 minutes away. And looking at the class evals, it appeared that I needed to carve out more time for the students to work on the projects in class and in lab, which we've been doing quite a bit. The project needed to be local, so we didn't have to travel so much. And so that was the beginning of the story. I was brainstorming how we could make it better. And then I went to the Institute of Food Technologists annual meeting. Uh, my department head recommended that I go to this LEAD 360 leadership program where I got together with about 20 or 30 young adults like myself talking about the issues and how we could use food science to be part of the solution. So this is when I started thinking about sustainability, uh, natural resources, the environment, and I started thinking about my experience in a plant, all of the wastewater going down the drain, all of the water that we use, um, energy isn't getting any cheaper. So I started brainstorming. And then in the fall, I got together with Gary and Carl. I would say we met two or three times in Gary's office just chatting for an hour brainstorming different projects. And a couple of the project ideas came up were, were plain quality issues, which we're still interested in. Um, one was fill weights on the three gallon tubs, for example. We were also looking at minimizing variation in the, the dry mix that gets used. But we finally, morning Stephanie. But we finally agreed upon a sustainability project. And the timeline goes on to the beginning of the semester. Uh, we, we've been using this Six Sigma approach to solving quality issues. It's the define, measure, analyze, improve, and then control approach, and I'll talk about that here. Um, at the begin beginning of the summer, I'm, I'm proud to say that each student in this classroom has earned a white belt certification in Six Sigma, which they've all put on their resume. So we're, we're, we're real happy with that. We started talking about quality management principles and the cost of quality. And then the hard part began. We had to define a problem. And that was in February. And uh, the, the students could admit how challenging that was. You go into a plant and it looked just very challenging. Um, the, the, we, we were, one group was considering looking at the light bulbs and just working on that. Another group was looking at the clean and place sanitation. Another group was considering taking samples from every single drain in the processing plant. And it took us, what would you say, about two months, I would say, to narrow down that scope, which is part of the first phase of Six Sigma, defining the problem. So the teams wrote a project charter, a project scope, and they planned their milestones. And then we got into the measure phase, and then what, with that data, after we measured a bunch of data, and I'll, I'll give the students credit, I was meeting them here at the plant at 6 a.m. on Tuesdays and Fridays when the plant was in production. They were committed to getting that data. Um, that spring was, break. what? And on spring break. And on spring break. <laughs> yes, absolutely. I know Jonathan was here, Chloe was here. I was working with them, and Micah especially was here quite a bit. So that was a lot of fun to get to work with the students We're, we're normally closed down on spring break, but he <laughs> asked us to stay open. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. <laughs> and right about that time, um, I, I really got to give Micah a lot of credit for helping put together a proposal for the sustainability grant that Carla's office is, is managing. This is a student initiative that's paid for by, is it one, a dollar fifty? Dollar fifty a semester. A dollar fifty in student fees per semester. The student body got together and created this fund. And um, I think there's eighty thousand dollars in the fund or something. I think that's what it said on the 30, website. Thirty thousand this first year. Thirty thousand this first year. So we saw that as an opportunity as a class. 
we were talking during Thursday afternoon labs about what we could do. Um, and then especially Micah helped write that proposal. He really digged in and did the research, but the whole class helped with that proposal. So um, we're, we're excited to find out next month whether we get it. And we should also acknowledge our department head, Dr. Daubert, who provided a letter of support for that project. And then that brought us to where we're at in, in April right now. We're working on the improve and control process. So what's gonna happen this morning is the students will present their projects and provide recommendations for how to improve and control the problem. And the problem here is minimizing variation in water usage, energy usage, and wastewater quality going down the drain. But it doesn't stop there because we have plans for the future. Um, should that grant get funded, of course we'll do that. Um, Gary and Carl checked in matching funds for that project. We identified a, uh, a newer machine, which we think would definitely solve the problem. This morning we're gonna pretend as if that's not an option, though, okay? And then the other thing for the future is we noticed that there's a conference on um, sustainability and advanced food processing in November, and the abstract submission deadline is I think May 1st. So we're planning on submitting an, an abstract as a class. Whoever wants to join me at that conference will be, will be joining me. So we're hoping to package this up as a poster presentation at that conference in November. Is that Brazil, North Carolina? This is in Brazil, South, or is it Central? Central <laughs> America. <laughs> which, which is an interesting point. Micah and I were trying to find conferences in the U.S., and we found one in Sweden in November, and we found one in Brazil in November, so we said, we're going to Brazil. <laughs> so, um, but, but um, I, I think this speaks to the opportunity for any, any young adult starting their career in industry, wanting to make a difference, and, and seeing big opportunities uh, to make an impact. Consumers are starting to care about sustainability quite a bit. I think over the last 10 years, we've seen them really pay attention to things like organic foods, local foods, and things like that. But I really think that sustainability will be uh, more front stage and center um, as you look at the market. So I am done with my spiel. Helen, are you still with us? Can you hear us? Yeah. Awesome. OK, and with that said, I welcome the, the wastewater team up to present their project. Each student team will be about 15 minutes. 